make these earrings, we've got some really cute little filigree charms and things. These are called Busy Bee Charms, these little stamped metal charms, and these are made out of a kind of antique bronze. We've got some filigrees, and these are kind of an antique gold, so we like mixing those metals up. We have two of those. We've got a real pretty rhinestone rosette or crystal rosette, and you can buy these uh, at jewelry supply stores, your local bead shop, you can buy them online. They're very pretty. We've got two jump rings, and we chose the sort of antique gold color for the jump rings, and two earring wires that are also in the antique gold. And then to put this all together into our earrings, we've got E6000 glue and a toothpick. We'll show you what that's for. We've also got chain nose pliers and round nose pliers. To make the earrings, the first thing we want to do is attach our little bee charm to the filigree, and we're going to do that using the jump ring. And we'll need to open the jump ring, and these things are very hard to manage with your fingers, so we recommend using your tools. And to open a jump ring, we like to use two pairs of pliers. I've got chain nose pliers on one side, and I've got the round nose pliers on the other. And what I've done is I've figured out that the opening where the jump ring is cut open is at the top. And what I want to do is slide one side down and bring one side up with the pliers. And that opens the jump ring without losing the jump ring round shape. So now it's open. I'm going to keep holding onto it with these pliers. If I set it down and try to pick it up with my fingers, my fingers are going to get in the way. So what I can do now is slide on the little busy bee. And then I can slide on the filigree. I'm facing the filigree. It's kind of a little bit of a curved filigree this one. I'm going to leave the curve shape up because that'll hold our pretty rosette nicely. If you have a flat one it doesn't matter. And then I'm just going to pick any hole at the bottom there. Now I've got both items on the jump ring and I can take my pliers and repeat the action but in the opposite direction. Rotate back so that that jump ring is closed. So now you can see we have the jump ring and the busy bee hanging from the filigree like that. And now we want to attach the earring wire to the top. We're going to put the rosette on last because we're going to use glue for that and the glue will take a while to dry. We don't want to manipulate this while the glue is still trying to dry. So here's our earring wire and we want to open the earring wire the same way we opened the jump ring. We don't want to misshape the circle by pulling it out. We want to pull it kind of sideways like we're opening a door. We have to find which side is open. Not that one. We're just going to slide it sideways to open it up a little bit. But it's still round shaped. And I'll hold that little bead out of the way. And then I'm going to look for the hole on the filigree that's at the opposite side of the jump ring we just attached. So I'm sliding that on and then I'm just going to check it to see if that is in the right spot. That looks like it's in the right spot. They're hanging opposite each other and I can use my pliers, either one, to slide that loop closed. I kind of close it back up, kind of press it together a little bit. But do you see what I've just done? I've put the earring wire on backwards. Now if I flip it over, my B is upside down, my filigree is upside down. So let's fix that. I'm going to open up my earring wire and I'm going to flip it over and then fit it back through that same hole. Double check it. Yeah, that's the right hole. So those things are opposite each other. And then I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to close that earring wire back. So. See, little mistakes happen, but they're easy to fix. So that earring, you could call that done if you wanted it all metal. But we want to put these little rosettes on. So I'm going to, I'm going to do the rosettes last. So let me do the other earring. Do the same way we did the first one. There's the opening on the jump ring right there at the top. I like to hold the jump ring kind of sideways and grab it with the other pliers. And then I'm going to push one side down and lift one side up. So it's sort of sliding past itself. And now I can slide on my Busy Bee, little bee charm, and I can slide on my filigree. 
and then close that back the same way. Push those sides together. And you can double check that your jump ring is closed, kind of press it together a little bit. And that's how we want that to look, perfect. And here's our other earring wire. And again, I have to figure out which way does it open. It's hard to see the opening on it, but that's how it opens. This time I'm gonna put it on correctly. This is how we want the earring to sit. This is the front of the earring, and so I'm gonna slide it in there. In the hole that's opposite the hole that the jump ring went into. Like that. And then I'm gonna close it back the way we did before. Sliding that loop closed, kind of press it closed, make sure it's nice and tidy. And that one's almost done also. They look so cute. But now just to glitz it up a little bit, we're gonna add these beautiful crystal rosettes. And these come in all kinds of colors. And we just got them at a bead store, but you can also buy them online. And we're gonna use our E6000 and I'm gonna apply the glue to the back of the rosette. And we like this E6000 because it's nice and thick and viscous. It'll fill in some space there. I'm gonna set that down in the center and then just press it down. That looks great. And then I'm gonna set that so it can dry. I'm gonna do a little more glue for the second one. And that glue should set up, I think this one sets up within an hour, but whatever glue you use, just consult the packaging to find out how long you need to leave it be. I'm gonna set that in there and center it. That crystal rosette does so much work for these earrings. Really makes them beautiful. And that's how you make these Busy Bee Crystal Rosette Earrings. Mm -hmm.